The media world is in flux, not just in newspapers but in magazines. Publications are struggling to meet the demand of a 24-hour news cycle and online is taking over. For women's issues, Mamma Mia is on top. Jamila Reesby is the editor of MamaMia.com.au, a women's news and opinion based site established in 2007 by former magazine editor Mia Friedman. Since then the site has rapidly grown, demonstrating audiences are switching from traditional print to fast and savvy online. Mamma Mia is amazing because the conversation is happening at any time and all the time. We grab the news as it's happening. You just can't do that in a magazine that's produced weekly or monthly, it's just not possible. However, Helen McCabe, the editor of Australia's longest running and most successful women's magazine, The Australian Women's Weekly, sees a promising future for print publications despite the online boom. Say you're too busy to even turn on the six o'clock news bulletin, turn on the radio because the kids are in the back seat, but you buy a magazine because you go, I want some time to relax and I want some, I want some stories that are interesting and inspire me and I want to know what's going on behind the headlines then Women's Weekly comes into play. The second half of 2012 saw Bauer Media Group's monthly women's magazines drop in circulation. Clio fell 23.6%, whilst Cosmopolitan slumped 16.2%. Now Bauer Media Group has dropped both Grazia and Madison. I think it's such a shame to see titles like Grazia and Madison closed, but I think the big challenge is the media industry waking up, realising the internet is here to stay, it's not going anywhere. This idea that in 50 years time we'll still be picking up printed products, you know, that seems like a luxury, you know, in the same way that you get a few hipsters who collect vinyl, then yes, I'm sure that um, there'll be the odd magazine around, but as a mass reach medium, you know, reaching a large number of consumers on a regular basis, it won't be about print.